Hello traders, this is Caveman and this is a recap for my trade today on MBOT and I will try to uh, make this short to make it less painful for me. Okay, so uh, I've marked out some things here. Here's our high of day. Here's our pre-market high. Uh, support line, support line. Uh, okay, let me <clears throat> start getting into it here. So uh, we opened, we start heading up and then big giant red bars start heading down a lot of weakness up some more red bars started heading down a lot of weakness here's our support right here this is where this line came from and um, then started grinding up got up to 842 high of day could not hold it retested it right here giant reds so more weakness so all these weakness indicators thought maybe think that it was going to be a, a closing week so um you can see that it was jumping around here and it was actually gapping up and gapping down. So you see all these funny spaces in here. So then it again tried to make a go for the high of day. Didn't even come close. So we got up to, uh, what is this, uh, 817 <clears throat> and failed. Started coming down. A few gaps down right here. And we've got, uh, let me see, from 920. 927 to 941 okay so we got 20 minutes of downtrending right here and that's why I took the trade that's why I got in so I got in right here at 765 because I thought it was going to continue down which it, which it did right here in a sense I thought it was going to continue down go up a little bit consolidate or drop off again <clears throat> and then just stay weak the rest of the day um, but it starts spiking. Of course, as soon as I got in, I put in a stop. And my stop was at 8. I think I got stopped out. There's something wrong right now with uh, Trade Zero. And so I can't I can't even look it up. I was going to screenshot it and bring it in here. But um, there's something wrong. There's nothing showing right now. Anyways, I think I got stopped it out at 8.05. Um, and, of course, that's look, that's the peak right here. So when people say the market makers see your stops and maybe go up to take you out, well... I really don't know, but maybe that is the fact because that's what happened to me today. So uh, Friday, I kept canceling my stop. I would cancel it. I'd leave it out for a while to see if, to see if the stock reacted to it. Then I'd put it back in. Then I'd take it out. Then I would change it to a different level. Then I'd put it back in. Then I would take it out. So if there's somebody on the other end, or if there's some market makers watching these things, you know, I'm going to screw with them as much as I can, if, if I can at all. Uh, for my little itty bitty shares and I was trading I had 400 shares so I don't really think that's a big deal but maybe a lot of people have their stops at 8 because the whole number right I don't know uh, anyway so you can see it was a channel right you can see all this right here is a channel so lesson be learned don't get in don't let FOMO hit don't get in toward the middle or the bottom of the channel because you get squeezed out um, so I had a hundred sixty dollar red day uh, because of this right here so remember your pre-market high is your big big indicator so I should have put an order here and walked away is really what I should have done that way I would have had my order entered and I wouldn't have to sit there and order the uh, enter the order um, so it came back down and it was extremely weird very weird and choppy you can see in here all these little dashes I mean this looks like pre-market right in the middle of the night where you see these little tiny dashes in there um, kept doing it some more dashes over here, gap up, gap down. That's what these are. These are these are little gaps. Uh, and then over here, it kind of looks normal. This is what a normal pattern looks like, right? And but all this in here, really strange. And I saw it over here too. We can see it over here. Ah, that should have told me just don't touch it. And I held off for a long time. Uh, so this is 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 12:40 when I when I entered the trade. But um, again, stopped out. I should have just left the stop out. Uh, I mean, I should have canceled it and just sat and watched it uh, and for a while to see how it would have reacted and, and maybe would have started headed back down. But then had this other spike here, but still. Uh, the purple line, by the way, is VWAP right here. So, oh, that was another thing. It was below VWAP. So it was trending down for 20 minutes. It was below VWAP. I thought it was over, and it was already 12, uh, 1240. <clears throat> so those were the things that kind of made me get into the trade. Uh, but all those things are great, four great indicators, but I should have used the fifth great indicator, which is, you know, set the 
set the entry at the pre-market high. So then it would have probably would have been a perfect entry, right? Even if it would have got in here or, you know, anywhere around here, I could have held, if I wouldn't have covered down here, well, I sh actually, which I probably would have done, I probably would have covered right here. But um, if not, then I could have held through this squeeze. <clears throat> if I entered somewhere around here, I could have held through this and just let it ride down. Here's the close of the day over here, 837, uh, 737, excuse me. So that's it. Lesson learned. Uh, a little bit of a painful one. I know it's a stupid mistake, but um, a little FOMO kicked in, like I said. I used all these indicators to justify the trade. So that's the other thing. You can always justify a trade if you really <laughs> if you really want to. <laughs> so so don't try to justify the trade. Just set the, uh, set the entry here and then just kick back and wait for it to come to you. Uh, so lesson learned again. Um, okay, so we have uh, down below a link, I believe, to join our chat room. Uh, we got some great traders. You'll learn a lot. And then we also have um, some other things down below. I can't think of them right now. I just lost my train of thought. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you join us. And uh, come on in. We've got a lot of great traders, and you can learn a lot. All right, Caveman out. Bye-bye.